Hello. Wolves change rivers. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Wolves also give life to various species of animals. The classic example of this occurred in the Yellowstone National Park. Oh, yeah? Please explain. Before the wolves turned up in 1995, they had been absent for 70 years. The numbers of deer, because there were nothing to hunt them, built up and built up in the Yellowstone National Park. Despite efforts by humans to control them, they had managed to reduce much of the vegetation to almost nothing. They just grazed it away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. First, don't you mean elk instead of deer? The Rocky Mountain elk, to be exact. The Yellowstone herd was the most populous and healthy in North America, before the wolf reintroduction of course. We should clarify that wolves' main prey are elk, not deer. Second, you think that the only predator to the Rocky Mountain elk in Yellowstone is the wolf? Have you ever heard of grizzly bears? How about black bears? Mountain lions? Coyotes? Third, how did humans attempt to control the elk? The area you are describing is a national park. Therefore, hunting is not allowed. There were no efforts by humans to control the elk. Lastly, the elk did not just graze away the vegetation to almost nothing. Please continue. As soon as the wolves arrived, they killed some of the deer. But even more importantly than killing the deer, they changed the behavior of the deer radically. The deer began avoiding areas where they could be trapped most easily, the valleys and gorges. And immediately these places started to regenerate. In some areas, the height of trees quintupled, in just six years. I thought I just explained to you, the wolves kill the elk, not deer. So instead of killing the elk, you think the wolves only chased them out of the valleys and gorges. And this caused an immediate regeneration of the grazed away areas. What caused the tree height to increase fivefold in just six years? Do you have any scientific data to back up these ridiculous claims? Go on. The grazed away areas quickly became forest of aspen and willows and cottonwood. And as soon as it happened, the numbers of songbirds and migratory birds increased greatly. And the numbers of beavers started to increase. Because beavers like to eat the trees. You know, beavers are equally see some engineers. Just like the wolves. Their dams provide habitats for otters and muskrats and ducks and fish and reptiles and amphibians. Wait a minute. This sounds pretty fishy to me. So the elk never went back into the valleys and gorges after the wolves chased them off? And how quickly did the forests appear in the valleys? Sorry for the interruption, please go on. Where was I? Oh, yes. Then the wolves killed the coyotes, therefore, the numbers of rabbits and mice increased, which meant more hawks, more weasels, more foxes, more badgers. Ravens and bald eagles came down to feed on the carrion that the wolves had left. Bears fed on it too, and their population began to rise as well. Not just because of the carrion, but also because there were more berries growing on the regenerating shrubs. And the bears began to reinforce the impact of the wolves by killing some of the calves of the deer. How many times do I have to tell you? Elk, not deer. Why would the wolves kill coyotes when they have so many elk to feed on? Especially pregnant cows and newborn calves. What bears fed on the coyote carrion? Do you honestly think that the wolves killed enough coyotes to make a significant impact on the population of the bears and other species? The bears were eating the elk too. And I knew you would again remind us of how well that regenerating forest was growing, I'm sure that all of those extra berries really had a significant impact on the bear population. Wait, here is where my story gets very interesting. The wolves changed the behavior of the rivers. This is the worst story I have ever heard. It is full of so many holes. All because of the wolves, there was less meandering and less erosion. The channels narrowed, more pools formed, more riffle sections. These are all great for wildlife habitats. The rivers changed in response to the wolves. Who would believe this story? The regenerating forest stabilized the river banks, so that they collapsed less often. The rivers became more fixed in their courses. 
and by driving the deer out of only some places, and the vegetation recovery, there was less soil erosion. So the wolves transformed not just the ecosystem of Yellowstone, but also the physical geography. For the last time, they are elk, not deer. I cannot believe the misinformation in this story. Wolves do not change rivers. Liberals change rivers. All wolves do is kill and spread echinococcus granulosus.